Welcome to the Sig News Network. It's Tuesday, March 5th. I'm Haley Poinsett. I'm Sky Hoss. Let's get right into the weather. For your weather today, the temperature looks like it's about to be a frigid couple of days with a high of 32 and a low of 8. Wednesday looks a little better with a high of 40 and a low of 12. Now for your lunchtime meeting. For your lunchtime meetings, for early hall is South Hall. Today, FCA Bible Study will meet. Tomorrow will be NIC. Thursday will be Stuco. And Friday, as always, will be FCA. And now to your current school announcements. For your current school announcements, there will be a Bulldog Pride Assembly tomorrow. Don't forget to wear your shirts. There will be a tornado drill today at 10.05 a.m. And I see we'll have an after school event today till 5 o'clock p.m. Remember, if you want to take the ACT here at Blue Eye on April 13th, you must register by March 8th in order to take the test. Don't forget that if you want to sign up for the Bulldog 5K run at Dogwood Canyon, the registration forms are on the office counter. They are due March 18th, and the race will start April 6th at 9 o'clock a.m. For your upcoming events, Wednesday will be NHS introduction at 6 p.m. Thursday, there will be an academic bowl at Billings. Friday, there will be a half day and third quarter will end and there will be teachers in service. Saturday, district and soul ensemble band choir competition. March 11th through 15th, there's no school due to spring break. March 11th through 13th, there's star events at Tantara. March 18th through 22nd, there's no Votech. March 23rd, there's SWCL band performance at Blue Eye. And March 27th, there's an FCCLA spring blood drive. Now to your birthdays. We have no local birthdays today. But however, we would like to wish happy birthday to some famous people. In 1910, Momofuku Andu, a Taiwanese-Japanese inventor of instant noodles and cup noodles. He was born in Taiwan and died in 2007. Also, Reggie Williams. He was born in 1964. He was an NBA forward and guard for the Denver Nuggets. The present day, the world has gone astray. Brothers are worth it. You had to lie to get your way. Blood's thicker than water. Then we have 1974, Eva Mendez. She's an American actress born in Miami, Florida. She's the best known for Training Day 2, Fast and Furious. Born in Miami, Florida. Brian O'Connor, Roman Pierce, need Monica Fuentes. Do they have background on Barone? They've been briefed. Good. All right, here's the deal. Barone's looking for drivers. I've arranged for both of you to join up. I've also hired some thugs, you know, to make it legit. When do we start? Right now. What are we driving? You think you're gonna have any problems with these two knuckleheads? I can handle them. They give you any trouble at all, you let me know. Thanks, Marco. I'll ride with you, cowboy. Why she gotta ride with you? You get the convertible. Let's go. Now to your sports. For your sports, on Friday, the baseball boys have a jamboree at Galena starting at 515. The bus will leave at 3.30. The boys will be facing Hurley and Galena. That's all for your sports. Now let's hop on over to Tasty Tuesday. Welcome to Tasty Tuesday. Today we have two yummy after-school snacks to show off for Tasty Tuesday. The first of which is zucchini pieces. Uh, delicious zucchinis with tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and tiny pepperonis. The second, loaded apple slices, are slices covered in peanut butter and topped with chocolate chips. Now to local news. For your local news, worried neighbors called the police in Minnesota this week when they noticed a man standing outside in the cold without a coat hugging his pillow. Police in Jordan outside Minneapolis said the caller certainly was not wanting to get too close thinking who is this strange person standing outside in the cold hugging a pillow, which sounds reasonable enough. 
Luckily for everyone involved, the deranged person hugging a pillow was only a cardboard cutout of Mike Lindell, the inventor of my pillow, hugging a pillow. Also, officials are investigating the cause of a gas pipeline exploded during the weekend in central Missouri. The pipeline owned by Dallas-based Panhandle Eastern Pipeline ruptured Sunday morning along Missouri 15, about one mile north of Mexico in Audrain County. Little Dixie Fire Protection District Fire Chief Steve Gantry said his crews weren't able to battle the blades when they first arrived because the flames were so intense. No injuries were reported. That's all for your local news. Now back to your host. Well, that's all for your news today, so thanks for tuning in. And I have been Haley Poinsett. I've been Scott Haas. And don't forget we're the news. With a Z. With a Z. Random fact of the day. Ravens in captivity can learn to talk better than parrots.